Our islands are among the most beautiful places on Earth. With pristine coral reefs and tropical forests. Our people have lived here in harmony with nature for over a thousand years. All life depends on this delicate balance. But climate change and unsustainable practices are tipping the scales. We must act now to protect our way of life. Landscape strategy is a, is a vision that has been birthed uh, and led by the indigenous chiefs and local communities of Laos. Laos consists of about 17 islands, 13 districts, a population of about 9,600 residents, which is just under 1% of Fiji's total population. So it looks to protecting uh, the natural ecosystem, which is unique but very fragile uh, in Laos, but also considering the importance that production is an element of survival uh, for the livelihoods of the people that are in Laos. So it is a, a balancing act of uh, protecting ecosystems and ensuring that they also rely on these healthy ecosystems to produce and also to meet their, their livelihoods and sustainable aspirations for the communities in Laos. <laughs> O kenda tau dos ara na bola kaumbula na lomenia sano lau na via nu anu na vida kau ke na kaki denga e bola ibi kenda e wili na vinga rabi ni alo ni loloma aron botoka non rutu na turang ni non tu bonua mer tu botoka ya dataka ke na na daga daga bimbingo me marro ke na na bonua lau kasenga ni boka foga ya ni boka tambaki ndua ke na dona tikina si dona dona kau si dona mon manu me botai tu dos ara Na vaga vaga bimbigo na nonda tango makana nonda yombula mera rawata talinga kina na tiko bina ko ira na lubenda e na bisi ni mata Sina ka mena ti te mi wai sa ansa na vaga tambu sa ndona ka na lubu ni bumi tilo mata buru ka vaya na ngoni wu de na redenga na vuna ir kel kel tin nombo to sa na bumi sa iya la ko ta ka mai ira pura ta ka mai a key uh, theme that is also um, critical in terms of the delivery of the, the strategy is an opportunity to you know, address climate shocks, to think across the climate change lenses, what is happening to the natural ecosystem, how are the, uh, the stocks, the fishery stocks are being impacted, how the habitats are changing, how the people that, that rely on these resources uh, uh, adjusting and are surviving in, in, a, in an era where climate change is becoming a reality. So the projects and the activities and interventions that are being you know, designed and planned and delivered across uh, the, the Lao province, across all of the five clusters, are geared towards building a more robust climate resilience and adequately providing adaptation uh, to the climate change shocks that uh, not only the communities but the natural ecosystems and habitats um, would face, you know, not only now but in the years to come. Uh, IUCN was part of the Laos Seascape Initiative since I think we really got involved in 2019. The Vanua Lao and Masini Vanua, they wanted more information on this and so from there CI engaged IUCN again to do a specific technical report for Lao. Coming into 2022 they are like get on the board with us and go and talk about it in the communities. And so you can see the continued uh, progress and growth of the partnership. Eh? It wasn't just a one-off come and talk about it and leave. You know, we talked about it, we did some more research and analysis, and now we're out here talking about it in communities uh, with the uh, Laos Escape Initiative partners, and that's awesome. On the 31st of March, 2022, uh, we celebrated the, um, the renewal of a memorandum of understanding. 
uh, across the, the Laos Seascape partners. So it, is, it has completed three years of uh, an MOU between partners, uh, started with eight partners that was working towards implementing the Laos Seascape strategy. We have increased the number of partners that have uh, signed on to the MOU, so we now have about 12 and it continues to grow. The Laos Seascape um, partners are very excited that this vision that began more than 10 years ago uh, is, is, is not only um, within the circles that had started this vision, but they continue to grow and expand and continue to bring in new partners to deliver the strategy and, and you know the goals that have been identified. The Laos Seascape Partners work have, have allowed um, the partners to completely set foot on all of the 72 villages in Laos. It is quite a milestone. Uh, Laos is not an easy feat to be able to uh, you know to work in. It is not only rural, it's, it's far, you know, it's just isolated, the transportation is very difficult. So collectively, partners have worked towards, uh, um, you know, making sure that the strategy becomes a reality. So uh, as of December in 2021, we are proud to say that the partners have uh, completed most of their economic and social uh, targets and livelihoods that we have uh, completed, much of the restoration and ecological targets uh, continuing to you know, be completed at, at above 80% implementation rate. So they, it's, we've really come great strides in terms of where the partnership and uh, where we continue to see that seven years is still a, a realistic timeline. We certainly can deliver the Laos Seascape uh, strategy uh, uh, until 2030 and we'd like to continue to invite uh, you know, new partners. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad, I'm really glad that um, we in uh, Mabana have sort of uh, adopted the concepts that are being preached by the uh, Laos Seascape. I have seen quite a lot of improvements in uh, what is happening in the village, eh? in the leadership role. That is really an area where it was lacking before, eh? but now the Turangani Matangalis and the Lili Nebuza, they know exactly what their role is. Eh? The last escape strategy articulates uh, 10 big goals. Three are um, addressing uh, livelihood targets. The other seven goals speaks to ecological goals. But if I can speak to the livelihood targets, this is addressing food security. It also speaks to uh, the opportunities that uh, Lao has, you know, livelihood and market aspirations, the wealth of uh, seafood and you know opportunities to have natural foods that are in the Lao province not only from the fisheries but also from forestry also from the opportunities to to showcase uh, crops and agriculture so these are all have been identified we have specific targets that are addressing um, opportunities to connect market pathways from Lao to the mainland of uh, Vitilevu this is an opportunity to to identify sustainable fisheries production, sustainable agriculture, and of course forestry products that can be uh, also moved from Laos, from the islands, and also to the mainland. Opportunities for them to uh, create jobs. So you know, one would know once uh, we move into conservation, the the discussion and the consultation, the conversation of uh, protection and conservation has an element that you need to consider the, the, the direct needs of the, the users of today. What is happening in the world today? What is happening in the village today? All what we need is a bit of money in your pocket and having a good life in the village. Eh? Because everything seems to be free. Hopefully that the Lao Seascape can uh, develop this further so that it becomes an economic arm of development eh? within the village um, situation uh, so that we can compete effectively with uh, the uh, business people who are running the shows in um, towns and cities. If we can do that, yes, then really that's the way to go. But the beauty about it is that you're bringing in culture, tradition, 
the environment and the people to all work together, uh, it, it's now proving that it can be done. There are many opportunities to continue to improve in terms of the work that uh, that the Laos Seascape partners and also uh, you know conservationists uh, continue to do across the provinces in Fiji. We continue to to realize that there is an opportunity to have stronger conservation measures and uh, you know interventions once the areas that have been identified to be protected and conserved are somewhat recognized legally. That is an opportunity because uh, of the many multi-sectoral interests, multi-stakeholder interests that we all have in terms of uh, our natural ecosystems, the use of these ecosystems and, and stocks. An opportunity that CI and the partnership in Laos is, is intending to, to progress is the opportunity to recognize and designate these biodiversity areas that are key. It gives it a little bit more strength in protection it identifies uh, the conditions of use, uh, if any. Uh, it provides the scope. Uh, it provides fees and revenues and conditions of breach. So this is an opportunity that we feel uh, is required uh, you know, for ensuring that um, conservation efforts that are done now can, can properly sustain itself into perpetuity.